Hey, I'm Scotty and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sketch people quickly and loosely while still having structure and accuracy. So I've got a bit of structure here to follow, um, but we're going to keep things quite simple. We've got to start at the top here, at the head, so that we can measure the rest of the body off. So just draw that top circle part of the head there like that, down like that. That's where the hair comes off there. The chin is in here, and there like that. So we've got this shape here, which is a circle and the chin coming off there. So it's sort of like an upside down egg shape there. So that's really important to have that main shape. We could even dye it up just to make it a little bit more easy to see. So we can go down here. Okay. And then the next step is to draw that little neck here. Just, just a little bit left to the end of the chin. Okay, so we'll leave the details of the face till later. The next step after we've got that head shape is to structure out that torso. So we've got two dots either side of the head so you've got one there, one there. It's almost level with the chin in this reference. The body torso, so the length of the torso is three heads lengths down to where she's sitting here. So let's quickly measure that. It's one head. So that's one, two, three. We have this basic structure. It gives us a, just something to work around. So I'm getting this basic shape, the silhouette of her body here. And halfway between these two dots, we come down. That's where that waist comes in. Halfway there, and then comes out. And that's where that bottom is sitting there. Come on this side, and we come out again. I'll go over to the arm here. The sleeve is there. And from the shoulder here to the wrist. So that's here, shoulder to the wrist. Halfway is the elbow. One and a half is the elbow. It's about there and one and a half is the wrist, it's about there. So let's just draw that outline of the, the arm. It comes in towards that where the elbow is, and then it comes out again around the elbow. So then it comes back, and then like that. So we're not gonna do like a whole lesson on a hand, it's just the basic outline here. So I'm just drawing straight lines. It's top, that's the palm, the fingers, back up, just sort of outlining those shapes. Now the other arm, so the elbow is in line with the other elbow, but further back, probably hidden behind there. And then it would come the wrist. You can see here it's slightly higher than the other wrist because it's sitting on the thigh here. So look at that angle about there. So let's get that same curve we have here on this side. Like that hand, same shape, one straight line there. Then that's the fingers. The finger, bottom of the fingers, the bottom of the palm, a straight line there just for the thumb. Okay, and so now the, we can do the hair. So let's come down from this point, come here, and then I'm sort of giving it character, see how it go in and out again. There's a few nice strands coming here, and you can wave back. Now we come into the where the legs are, and that's one of the hardest parts we've got to work out. So we have the crotches about here, and the top of the thigh is coming down here. Because this angle here, the, the knee is coming towards us, so can't really measure that we just have to go from observation so it looks to me like the knees coming out to just about there that's the knee there and that's the top of the dress more the other thigh is more straight on so we can measure it a bit it should be about one and a half heads as well so one and a half heads down to the knee same as the elbow so one and a half put it out there so it's in just coming close to this other knee so there's a dot here. Draw that knee like that, aiming up to where the crotch would be, the other side of the leg here, and then that dress would fold in the middle there, come around that leg, and down the side there. Now, this leg from the knee, so from this knee here, down to the top of the ankle, just above the ankles there, is one and a half heads again. So one head, I'm just looking up briefly at the head and just trying to work out where that is get this shape here. So it's coming back a little bit, it's going slowly. And then the back of the calf there is, has a nice curve. So starting from the back of the knee into there. And on this side of the knee, we also have a slight curve on the front, and the back calf again into there. And then, now this is just from observation, this foot here comes straight line, and the angle line this, and then angle line back, and the top of the sandal there like that. Okay, so now the foot, just looking at the shapes, to outline the, just do the outline. So come down, curve this way, and then two lines for those toes, and then line that way. So we can go across the toes, 
and then back up here and that's the, sh the sandal the figure the figure's looking good now so some of the clothing here there's like a band across the waist lots of wrinkles to show that the clothing is going around the body there and then towards the shoulders okay now the face so we want to keep this very simple as well it's a very small space in here so to do this we can divide the face up into three now in some of my methods I do four dots you could do that here or you could just simply go down about a third from the top there and draw two eyebrows here sort of an angle going around the face like that and then go down another third or halfway between those two points and draw the bottom of the nose just a line like that now the lips it's so small I don't think we can define the lips too much so we'll go up about halfway and then just a little bit above halfway we'll put two dots that's for the corners of the mouth and let's just draw the top lip going up like that a little bit underneath for that gap in the teeth the glasses here we go just a bit past halfway up from the bottom of the nose towards the brow and then we've got that bridge of the glasses and we've got two sides let's draw two sides there following that angle up this way and down this way there's glasses now the eyes you can see there I just put between the eyebrow and the bottom of the nose just up past halfway a dark spot for the eyes okay so now let's get onto the bike so we've got to think of the main shape still here with the bike and so we'll do the seat here across here and then we'll come straight across and we'll think about that shape of this section of the bike here so I'm not going to go into the details just going across here and so then we'll come down and do this shape here just making sure that come down to the right spot top of the bike is there and then let's come down this way and then the back light here okay now this bottom section here so the wheel comes around let's draw a little bit of the road and where does the wheel come here so the wheel comes across and and then it looks like this wheel comes it's a bit flatter because it's tilted slightly and then draw this shape here okay so you can see how just boxing out those shapes it's a light on the front side here like this so we're drawing that big shape through here this light on the side there this indicator light and then another shape here now we'll go through some of the other big shapes before we get carried away in the detail and then another circle this black section there back of that handlebars and it comes down so it comes down here so the storage compartment we're just drawing the flap on the back to keep all your stuff in there that's where you rest your feet on the top okay and then the side mirror so a bit of the handlebar on that side and it comes out now what else have we got to do over here this black section here and then it comes down the same look at that tire there back here okay this is where you can get some nice line work so the hat and the basket this adds a nice story to this sketch having these features something in the basket there yellowy bag of goodies bars here black bars stand like that as you can see it's a very rough loose sketch so I'll make sure that's dry and then we'll add some watercolor on top okay I'm gonna start out with trying this Princeton brush that I've got this is around six the color we're using first is burnt sienna so it's nice and light really really light and I do the legs now, you can see here on the reference that there's a little bit of light here and on the side of the arms and the face so we'll leave those bits white section there for the color and on this leg there doesn't seem to be any light shining so we'll just do that whole leg and the same with this arm now on this side we've got a bit of light reflecting off that right hand side of the arm and on the face so you make sure it's dry okay now for the hair I've got burnt umber and also got a little bit of white bring that color down and then as we go down I'm using Payne's gray and then let's bring that color down a bit more Payne's gray in and now the dress cadmium yellow leave that little bit of white on the side again and as we're going in here I might actually add 
some cadmium red and while it's still damp let's put that in there can make it so much more interesting you can also add splatters if you like like this now Payne's gray add some ultramarine in to make it slightly more blue and then we can just go through and just block out where where all those um, darker spots are we're not worried too much about the shadows yet this is quite a nice brush to use little foot wrists so this is yellow ochre and there's a lot of white on these hats it's quite white a lot of white there and then for the basket as well some splatters the indicator lights we can add cadmium red to this yellow here cadmium yellow to the cadmium red orange indicator here like that and one here too um, we can also try rose and what I'm going to do is just add a tiny bit to the cheeks. Okay, so we've done most of the, the basic color pass. So now let's, we're going to do the shadows. So for the shadows, we're going to be using ultramarine. And then we have rose. We're just looking for shadows. So maybe a few shadows on the face. Take that away. There's a bit of shadow underneath here. A little bit in the hair. Comes down there across the arm. And then in here, so that shape like that. So as if the dress is casting a shadow there and a bit on this side too a bit of shadow there okay and then as we get onto the bike i'm going to make it more of a bluey shadow so add a bit more ultramarine get where those shadows are in here across here and then just this side so leave that white bit there some more ultramarine to this section across here is a really great shadow get some paint little details here Okay, now with her glasses, I want to add some Payne's Grey. Add that in there. Little bits like this. Okay, so I've got my fine tip Posca pen, which is a great pen for adding little highlights. So what I'm going to do is just go around and just find areas that needs just slightly fixing up. Edges of things. This section here might have a strip across there. See the reference there, this tread there too. This dress has lots of little dots on it, so. So there you go, that's how I loosely sketch a figure. I've got a bike in there as well, using a little bit of construction for the proportions. Um, if you found that difficult to follow with the dots and construction, I've got a couple other tutorials here on YouTube. But also, if you want some more in-depth work, on my Patreon, I have an exclusive uh, tutorial there. That's quite a long one, going through all of the proportions of the body with some projects that you can follow. So some easier standing up ones and I go through the dots that I use that you construct a figure like this and as you get better you can apply it to more complex figures. But if you found this tutorial helpful please let me know in the comments and a like on this video will be much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.